Thank you, Paola. Thank you so much for the introduction. Hi, everyone. Uh, Karim here. Uh, today, I want to take you on a little bit of a journey of how YOLO helped us build our technology and uh, achieve great success in the football industry. Apologies if you hear background noise, but my the, the person next door decided to cut their loan right now. So uh, apologies for a bit of background. So let me get started. Um, a little bit about us. We're a small company startup uh, that was originally um, created in Australia and we moved to London a few years ago. We currently have built two apps, one called My Kicks, one called Bowling, which I'm gonna talk you through. And uh, we managed to get, get a partnership during our career. We have WHO, uh, we have UEFA as partners and Kevin De Bruyne as our app ambassadors. We do also have another app in the making called Gemmo, which I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about later. But for now, um, I'm gonna talk to you about My Kicks. So our journey starts uh, five years ago uh, when we built the first augmented reality app that allows you to play anywhere, football shoots with your friends. You just take your phone, you turn up the, the app, the augmented reality camera comes on, tracks your uh, space and creates a virtual goal. Then you can just put your phone on the ground, uh, that the app will give you a countdown. There will be uh, a sound that tells you when to shoot and the app will just shoot. You will just shoot the ball and the app will track the ball and detect where the ball crosses the goal plane and give you a score. That score was calculated by getting the speed of your ball and intersecting with the intersection of, your, of the ball with the goal plane. And based on where you intersect the goal plane, you will get a different score. For example, if you could hit the top right corner, you'll get a 10 multiplier. If you hit the center of the screen, or sorry, of the goal plane, you would just have a Jupiter per multiplier. That's because, of course, it would be harder for the goalkeeper to save a, a penalty shot in the top right corner. Another great feature is everything will be recorded and you can get a video that you can share with your friends afterwards. Um, the technology was very novel at the time. There were no like machine learning algorithm that you can use on your phone. There was nothing that you can do. That allowed us actually to get a great partnership with UEFA. UEFA was very keen into getting more people involved into football, especially young kids and making sure that they don't just stay in front of the gate of their phone and play. So uh, here's a little bit of video of uh, our fellow friends at UF and having a great time with the app. Just gonna skip to the chase here. Um, you can see that the app records a video and then you can show you where you, you hit the goal with the ball. For example, it gets hit height and it gives you a score. It's a very common use case for our app. Usually kids get with their friends to a football field and they play the app. They all play shootout together. It's very fun. It's very engaging. And it's, it's, uh, it's very interesting to see who's actually better under pressure at, at, at penalty kicks. Um, we released the app during the World Cup 2008. And we had partnership with Chris MD and Mini Minter, which are two influencers on YouTube. They did two great videos on um, on using our apps and playing with their friends and having fun during penalty kicks. And then that was a huge success for us. We actually managed to be the first app that we downloaded on the on the um, on the app store for that event. We even beat the FIFA World Cup, and we got around two hundred thousand uh, downloads at that point. We didn't really push the app more after that. Uh, it was more of a um, you know a, a test to see how good it would be received, but. Even though we stopped you know, marketing, still today, we still have daily users and we have millions of actually penalty kick recorded. And that was the sparkle that, um, that showed us the way of our, of our bowling app. Um, we saw there was a gap uh, in the market for, 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 a, for an app that could track your football skills, that could tell you how, you were, how good you were at football because there were no such thing yet. Uh, so how great would it be if there would be somehow something that you can use, you can do some drills, you can do some tests using the device, and they will tell you how good you are, how, or where you can improve. And this is where the idea of bowling and the player card came about. We partnership with uh, Kevin De Bruyne, which most of you will know, which is one of the best midfielder out there from Manchester City, which is our app ambassador. And then we also partner with the Oliver owner, which is a German researcher which has done extensive research on kids and young adults on how to detect how good they were at football using some sort of tests. 
and grade the, their skills. So we, we got together and we said, okay, everybody plays FIFA. I'm sure you guys are aware of how popular FIFA player cards are. You can buy packs with you know all these players and the skills is different and you can build your squad. So so what well, would be very nice if we could actually create a real life player card where you can actually grade yourself and see how good you are at football. So this is where uh, we, we, we ended up with the player card concept. We have eight skills that you can um, you can track during, using the app and each different skills has a different test that you have to do using machine learning and augmented reality. One of them, of course, is the shooting drill, which is the same experience as shooting the penalty kick that you see in, um, in my kicks. Um, this is where things get complicated because my kicks was a great idea, it was great technology, but had some limitation. The first is that it required that tripod. It was, it was built completely using computer vision, no machine learning, nothing. Uh, and it required that tripod. So even the slight movement could make, could ruin your score. You would not get a score if there were too much moving in the app. It was not uh, real time. You had to wait a few seconds afterwards for it to process and to, to get your score. It was pretty accurate, but not as accurate as someone wanted. For bowling, that was not enough. We had lots of um, feedback from users that one of the key features for them was the ability to actually handheld the phone. They didn't want to put the phone on the, on the ground. They, have, they were playing with their friends. So we just you know, give the phone to a friend and then just go ahead and play. So how can we actually achieve handheld? Another problem was if you, if you look at the young generation, they have a pretty, pretty short lifespan and attention span, no lifespan, <laughs> attention span. And um, you really need to get them real-time feedback on the device because you can't upload videos to, 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 to the server to get the results. It just, just it would take too much time and it would cost too much. So it really had to work on device real-time. And it had to be pretty accurate because if, you, if you're actually trying to get great people, you really need to be very accurate, at least 3%, according to Honor, to get a decent results. And we also had a different problem. We, we weren't uh, tracking the ball only anymore. We were also tracking the, the sorry, not only tracking the ball, yeah, we're also tracking the person in real time in 3D. So machine learning, question mark, can we use something like that to overcome all these points, all these problems? Indeed we can. And this is where, you know, we did some research, we came about YOLO. And this is where YOLO V5 was introduced. Um, you know, we work with Glenn very closely. We had a, um, a very big data set of uh, penalty kicks that we can leverage to train the YOLO model to get uh, ball tracking done pretty well. And you know, YOLO has been very good characteristics. First of all, is movement tolerant. Even if you move the, app, the phone a little bit, you're still gonna get the detection. Uh, you know, even if it's a little bit blurry, we, we have blurry images that we can use to track. So that was done already. We also have, also YOLO is pretty fast on iOS devices. We all know that it's the fastest there that the reason is very, very accurate. So that solved all our problems, really. It was the only way possible to actually build a product that could work on the device. It was using YOLO. Um, there it is. This is the, you know, it's a very um, high level uh, version of the, the pipeline. We, we take the video frames uh, out of the camera feed. We have all the video frames. We feed those frames to YOLO. They give us the, the, the bounding boxes of the player, the bounding box of, 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 the, of the ball, and then we track them in 3D space. There's more than just tracking, of course, because we have to compensate for drifting for, from the uh, AR, because you're moving your phone that's drifting. Uh, we also have to cut for inaccuracies, et cetera, et cetera. So there's a lot of complex algorithm behind the scene beside the detection, but detection really is the core. If we don't know where you are, there's no, there's no point, you know, for us uh, doing anything, right? So this is this is the core of, of the of the app. Um, I'm gonna just show you a um, couple of videos, uh, a little bit of techie videos. You can see on the top left. I'm gonna just play the video. This is kind of what the app sees. So this is one of the tests, which is called dribbling. You put your phone, you have your friends holding your phone, and then you have this sort of course that you have to do. You can see that we're tracking the ball and the player, even though the tracking is not perfect, you don't have every single 
frame is pretty good. Even when it's occluded, it's very, very good. And this is thanks to you know, the, the old architecture and the data set that we had. Uh, another one is the uh, shooting. This is actually rebuilding my kicks, but using uh, the YOLO um, the, the YOLO model to detect balls. You can see that it, it tracks the ball even when the ball gets very, very small in the background, so it's very good. Another use case, another exercise we had is um, bouncing against the wall. And then here again, you can see the tracking works amazingly well. You see what the player is and the person is, and we can track uh, the ball. Um, I invite you all to download the app to try it out. Um, purposely, I haven't put you know a live screenshot of the app. I just want you to go and look. But um, uh, this is the behind the scene. Now, all this. Uh, allowed us to actually get featured by Apple as app of the day on the App Store, uh, I don't know, in April, I think. And we managed actually to get the uh, on position five in the you know top downloaded app on the, the sport industry. So it's a great achievement. Um, we use this product to track, and people have fun. They just get the player card, they track their progress, and then they go subscribe to, to the improvement channel to get tips from Kevin De Bruyne to how to improve. So check it out. Um, this is pre-pandemic how this worked and then pandemic started so we had to move to indoor games because people could not go out anymore so we started developing some indoor games and that lead us to another breakthrough uh, which we were lucky enough at the right time is that most of the kids that I that don't get out they actually stay home and they stay on the phone they, you know they play with the, with you know I don't know Fortnite or Candy Crush or whatever games they, they like to Roblox is very popular and um, we actually were contacted by WHO uh, about this, the World Health Organization, which is really keen on getting people to move, especially kids. So they saw our technology and said, oh, I can really see this being applied to kids to, to get them you know, to move. They can still use their phone, but instead of you know, using their thumbs, maybe they just use their body. And so this is where um, we started a partnership uh, uh, with WHO to bring the bowling technology into a new app called Jemu, which we are going to release during the World Cup um, 2022 in partnership with Qatar as well. Uh, you can see here this little kid playing what, what we call ball control, which is actually just juggling. This is using the front face camera and using the YOLO model to track the ball and counting how many jugglings you can do. This is just one of the games that we have in the app. I'm just going to give you actually um, a little bit later on a sneak peek of, of, of some of the games. Uh, this is a different problem than the problem that we had before. So we had to get actually new data because uh, the, 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 the picture of the of the ball is quite different from the one that we had before. So again, thanks to, to, to YOLO, the training model, sorry, the training techniques and the data that we had, we managed to get that done as well, uh, pretty easily, I must say. Um, as I said, kids, you know, they don't get moving. What do we do if they don't move? Well, we can just use the screen to get them playing. And this is where these new games that are being developed, they are currently under development, so just a sneak peek. Uh, uh, are, you can see on the top left, the juggling game using the YOLO model to track the ball. We're also using a pose model um, as well uh, in combination with, um, with, the, uh, with the ball tracking uh, of YOLO. Um, and you can see on the center of the screen uh, a very Pac-Man-like games where you can uh, you know, just move your body to collect. Uh, balls and then you know other games jump to shoot etc cetera, etc cetera. so this is coming up very soon uh, we have a beta testing close beta testing right now so if you're interested to know a little bit more about the technology or just you know have a play with the games uh, just get in touch and thank you